now downgraded their CY23 uh, guidance, the 2023 guidance once again. And of course, this could have a negative read through for the Indian agrochemical space. Surbhi is here with the details. Uh, Surbhi, you know, earlier as well, when a lot of the larger chemical players did cut their guidance, we all know how it sort of moved for the Indian chemical space. But take us through what FMC has to say now. So, as you said, you know, FMC has revised their uh, calendar year 2023 guidance yet again. For revenues this time around, they see a 13% reduction from their previous guidance. And also for adjusted EBITDA, they see a 26% reduction from their previous guidance. Now, they have revised this outlook mainly because of the uh, lower sales volume in the Latin America market. Also because they've seen destocking in the Brazilian market and also because of a drought that had affected Argentina. But apart from that, they also expect a significant global destocking impact that will persist in the uh, in the next year as well. And this overall reflects a weaker uh, sentiment in the global agrochemical markets. So, as you said, it will have an impact on the Indian uh, chemical players as well. UPL, which is directly exposed to the global chemical market, a uh, global agrochemical market, that is, uh, you know, expected to be impacted. Apart from that, players like SRF, Naveen Florin, An Anupam Rasan, what exposed to the supply of the key raw materials in the agrochemical space, they are also expected to get impacted because of this destocking. De Okay, got that. Um, thanks very much for the update there. So the going continues to be tough for a lot of these uh, agrochemical players and the big uh, international name itself cutting its guidance a second time around. Uh, that's Surabhi with the details over, the, over there, but we have to take a quick break.